In the village of Mangilao, in an area once known for farms and cattle, is a small lab with some small plants that serve a huge purpose. Join us as we take a look at the tissue culture process, from the jelly-like concoction known as media to the plant nursery. I'm Joanna Delphin, and this is Dig It. Since 2011, the University of Guam and the Guam Department of Agriculture have partnered up to create tissue cultured plants and have since distributed hundreds if not thousands of plants through the program. Everybody knows uh, probably propagating plants by seeds or cuttings, but that's a little bit different than uh, propagating them in the laboratory. Tissue culture plants are propagated from the actively developing tissue. That's why we call tissue culture. The difference is that they are propagated in the laboratory instead of greenhouse or field, and they are propagated in the sterile conditions. Micropropagation or tissue culture propagation is essentially is other way of propagation. Rick Lazama of the Department of Agriculture and Alicia Waco from the university are the project's principals. The grant is awarded by the United States Department of Agriculture Specialty Crop Block Grant and it's awarded to the 50 states and the territories. Now it's only awarded to the state agencies that govern the agricultural business. So with the University of Guam with their expertise in the tissue culture that's how we came about in collaborating in to promote this grant. Though most of us are used to propagating plants naturally from seeds in the garden, Alicia explains how tissue propagation in the lab is different as it provides an environment where plants are less susceptible to viruses and fungi. It depends what you want to propagate and what you want to grow. Uh, most of the plants, uh, if you want to grow them in huge quantities, you grow them from seeds. That's actually the easiest way to grow plants uh, from the seeds. And it's kind of seeds or people under, people yes, do that all they, the time. They always use yeah. seeds. Okay. Yes, this is a natural product and that's why people use seeds. And that's actually it's fantastic because they grow very fast, they produce thousands of plants, the plants are very similar to each other. So um, it's, it's a very good way of growing plants. But it's a big difference. Those between tissue culture and and, uh, and growing plants from seeds in the field, you do not have identical plants when, by growing them from the seeds. While seed propagation does not yield identical plants, tissue cultures do, as the cultures come directly from the mother plant, giving it the same features and possibly free from disease. When you have skilled technicians, they can cut uh, epicomeristem, banana or uh, otaro epicomeristem in small pieces and place on the media, this is, that's what we call media. The, they look like gelatin. They contain all nutrients uh, needed by the plant. So uh, the technicians, they place the small pieces of, of the tissue on the media and then every three weeks they transfer them to the new media. When the bananas are ready uh, and we want to produce already roots on the plants, then we transfer them to the another media which uh, help the plants to produce roots. When they have uh, big enough, long enough roots, you take them out to the nursery and plant them in the pots with soil. This is actually the whole process of, of production uh, uh, of bananas in tissue culture. This is one of the purpose of tissue culture. In tissue culture, we are producing very healthy plants. Currently, the tissue culture lab is the first and only of its kind on island. However, the university and Department of Agriculture hope that one day, others will take on the project for personal or commercial sustainability. Thanks for joining us, Guam, and we'll see you next time. Until then, let us know. Did you dig it? it?